Riders, welcome to the Pot of Gold once again. The trail we named halfway into season two of this trail building uh, extravaganza. Uh, this is episode three. Last time we did a huge drop and before that we made a few rollers. Anyway, my name is Michael from Mike's Bike Rides and today we are starting something exciting. The jumps that are here are very intense and it's a very fun jump line, but we are missing a progression jump. We need a bigger jump. So we're going to build a huge jump. We're talking five to seven meters, people. That's going to be a little bit into this video. Uh, it's going to be a few videos for that to be finished. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you where it is. We're coming down, hauling down this hill and there's a bit of a step down that gives you so much speed that it's ridiculous. But we are making a hard left into a tabletop, followed by a double very quickly after. They felt big when we built them, but now they are not so big anymore. So on this huge bit of wasteland, uh, it's just a long, long, long runway up to the Moto X jump that we're going to get to in a little bit. Uh, so we, we're going to build something big there. I'm thinking a big jump, a big progressive jump that you can jump a little bit and you can jump very far. Uh, long, nice landing. We're gonna see when we build. I don't really know how to do this, so we're just gonna have to play by ear. To start this off, we're going to look at the uh, very worn down Moto X style jump. It's a straight takeoff into a, uh, a ditch, the drainage ditch. And uh, it's a very fun jump when it's up and running, but now the bunny rabbits has taken over. As you can see, it doesn't look very good right now. Uh, so we're gonna start with that. We're gonna find a bunch of rocks to pile on the sides to make it uh, more armored and deter the rabbits from digging. I'm gonna get started with the Moto X jump, make that look in mint, and then we'll uh, get going with the big one. <laughs> That's gonna be good when it's done, but I think this rock thing is gonna have to be an ongoing project as we uh, continue the build because this is gonna take forever. There's not that many rocks just around here. I have to carry them. So uh, we'll just leave this as an ongoing project and hope that the bunny rabbits don't uh, get to it before I can armor it. Well, that was a good day's digging. Before I leave, I will try to hit this jump and we'll uh, get it on camera. We'll see what we can do with it. Uh, just gonna have to try it. And then we'll come back another day and start building the big one. So uh, let's send it! <laughs> That's cringe. That's gonna be exciting. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, almost. Oh, the speed. Woo -hoo! <laughs> I didn't pop it at all. I just went off it. Felt awesome though. Drop. Whew. Whew. Oh, that's a big sun. Okay, so let me just take a little moment to talk about today's sponsor. That's you, because I don't have any sponsors. But you guys are awesome because you keep giving me super thanks and buying me coffees to keep this show on the road. Now, if you don't want to spend any money, you can just make sure to watch the commercials, maybe click the ads and then just shut them down again. That will generate more money in the affiliates program and enable me to take time out of my week to make videos. So, uh, yeah, 
that's that back to the video <laughs> all right riders it is another day and we're out here on the trail once again just a few seconds since last time but it's been a week um <clears throat> uh, oh, oh. today i'm going to start piling some rocks today is about the big jump and to save up on material we need something to frame it with and there isn't much wood here but what we do have an abundance of is rocks right here is a pile of stones and rocks that were never used to build a big rock garden over there uh, so these we can use to frame the jump and that's gonna save up on so much material i just gotta figure out how to get them over there there are some big ones that i probably can't get over there but uh we'll see what size is the limit and uh get to carrying stones it is a long way over there No, just no. Rocks are not gonna cut it unless I have a digger. Uh, it's just, they're too far away. Hmm. We did put a whole lot of cedar stumps in there to fill out the uh, void. But I think we can make this into a small double or like a wavy one and get those stumps out of there. What do you think? Those could be a perfect frame for the jump. Very dumb to put all this primo wood into the ground. Uh, but it has not rotten at all and it is beautiful. The bad news is now I have to reset this. <laughs> Okay, people, it has been a few days. My GoPro battery died, just like that. And uh, I didn't get to film all, all the things that I was going to film. Now we're out here again, and it's been a week, so uh, it's, it's been frosty. <laughs> There's been some minus degrees, so uh, the ground is hard, but I think I can dig through it. Where we left off, we uh, dug out all these logs. And what I did was I peeled all the bark off the logs so that they can uh, last longer. I got out of here and uh, just started to eyeballing things. I'm gonna use these logs, it's gonna be just enough to make a good kicker. So now I have to dig a little trench for them so that they can get into the ground and then I can pack them in and they're gonna be somewhat stable. <laughs> Well, all right, we have a frame for the jump. Now that we have the frame, we need to fill it with something. We do have some cut down branches that we can fill in. And then I'm thinking that pile over there, there's a small, small gravel pile. We could start with that because that's gonna settle in around the base real good and create a good foundation for the logs. And then we can put all kinds of trash on top of that and then some good riding surface on top of that. Another thing that we'll have to move is this hump back there. It's just in the way, doesn't do anything and the berm doesn't need it. So we'll cut it down, put it over here instead and uh, fill it in into the landing. And uh, we'll see what else we can do today.
Well, okay, riders, that is all for today. I have made a lot of progress on this jump, I will say. It's been two and a half hours, but it's so frozen in the ground that I can't get material for it. We'll just make do with the gravel for now, and that's going to be a good base, and then we'll put dirt on top. The aim is to get up to this highest post here in height, and then make the transition very long and nice and, and mellow because you're gonna have a lot of speed. We are moving into a time when I'm going to be able to make less videos. We are moving into Christmas and after that I'm gonna be on parental leave for the little boy like the next half year up until the summer and I'm not gonna be able to make as many videos and I'm not gonna be able to be out here and dig that much. I might not make as many videos as I want and the videos I do make might be a little bit more centered towards growing the channel so they might be a little bit more clickbaity but I'm sure that they will be filled with good information anyway. This build is not over we're gonna finish this jump before spring but uh, the build series is gonna be on a little bit of hiatus uh, we'll see. I don't have much of a plan. But anyway, thank you for joining me today and I hope you subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you when I see you, probably in the new year. So uh, have a good one and I'll talk to you soon. This has been Michael from Mike's Bike Rides. Bye for now.